video, we are going to be covering how to ride your Peloton bike with regular shoes. This can be sneakers, athletic shoes, any type of workout shoe you have. Not everyone is a fan of cycling shoes because it's a little bit difficult to get the hang of clipping in and out of your Peloton bike. Mark Cycling offers two ways to ride your Peloton bike without cycling shoes. Today, we are going to be covering one of those ways. If you're new here, I'm Frankie with Mark Cycling. We provide helpful tips for both the indoor and outdoor cycling community. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the links that I speak about in this video today, be sure to check out the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Most spinning classes and advanced cycling bikes like the Peloton suggest that you ride with cleated cycling shoes. This is to ensure that you get the most out of your training and the most out of every single ride. You might not be able to do more advanced cycling classes without cleated shoes. There are four reasons that toe cages might be the best option for you. The first is that you're new to the cycling community. The second is that you enjoy taking the slower paced scenic routes that your advanced cycling bike offers. The third is that you're taking bike boot camps, which requires you to get on and off your bike pretty frequently. The fourth is that you live in a home and multiple people are using this bike and not everybody has a pair of cleated cycling shoes. Mark Cycling offers two different options for purchasing toe cages. Today I'm gonna to be talking about one of them. This is what it looks like. It basically just clips onto your Peloton pedal just like a cycling cleat. This ensures that you can wear regular workout shoes for your next bike boot camp or regular spin class. Start by threading the strap through the bottom of the toe cage. It doesn't matter which strap, but make sure the buckle faces down. Fold the strap over and through the two holes on top of the cage. Pull the straps all the way through so the buckle sits near the bottom of the clip. Squeeze open the buckle and thread the strap under the roller through the opening. Repeat for the other side. Fit your shoes into the toe cage and pull on the straps to tighten them to make sure they fit. Please note the buckle should face outward. They should be snug enough for your shoe to stay in. If you think the toe cage is too short, you can adjust the cage by using the Allen key provided to make the toe cage longer. One way to clip into the bike pedals is clipping in the way you would with regular cycling shoes. A second way is to insert the tip of the molded cleat into the cavity of the pedal and simply stepping down on the cage. We recommend turning the resistance to full so the crank doesn't move around when you do this. You can also loosen the tension on the end of the pedal to make it easier to install the toe cage by hand. If you have any questions about loosening or strengthening the tension on the end of your pedal, please take a look at our other YouTube video titled How to Clip In and Out of Your Peloton Bike Pedals. Once you are done and need to remove the toe cage, turn the resistance all the way up just like you did when you put it on. This will ensure the pedals do not move on you. You can loosen the tension on the bottom of the pedal to help you remove the toe cage more easily. Then pull the cage outward and away from the bike toward you. When you hear a loud click, this is how you know your toe cage is unmounted. Once you remove the toe cage, don't forget to tighten the tension on the bottom of the pedal again. This is the same sound you hear when you unclip regular cycling shoes. Liked the video? If you find the video helpful, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button.